That scripture says that what God wants is not for any soul to perish, but that for every soul to come to repentance. But there is somebody else who wants every soul to perish. So that is the battle for our soul. There is the will and the plan of God for our souls. And there is the will and the plans from the pit of hell equally for our souls. The soul is shaped by what the body is exposed to. If the body is exposed to garbage, the soul will be full of garbage. If the body is exposed to good things or goodness, the person will be full of goodness. When you get born again, it is your spirit that is reborn. Hallelujah. Your body is not reborn. Your soul is not reborn. It is your spirit that is reborn. The devil's plan is for us to give up on this Christian race. So it will throw all kind of obstacles and darts our way. And I'm sorry to say that it might even be your fellow brethren who the enemy will use to offend you in this Christian race. It might even be the brother that you pray with. <laughs> Hallelujah. It might even be your pastor. There is something called the will of a man. And the will of a man is not under the control of God and is not under the control of the devil. It is under the control of the man. Your will can be influenced by the devil and it can also be influenced by God. But your will is your will. And your will is determined by what your soul is exposed to. Your will is based on the decisions that you make at every crossroad on a daily basis. You can decide to pray or not to pray. Will God come and force you to pray? No. He will not. You can decide to get out of bed or stay in bed. God is not going to push you out of bed. And neither will the devil. But they can influence you can be nudged in the middle of a night to get up and pray. But you can choose not to pray. How many senses do we have? Five. Right? You can see. You can hear. You can taste. You can feel. And you can smell. Five senses. Physical senses. What you see and what you hear is what you become. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. What you see with your eyes and what you hear with your ears is what you become. So your eyes and your ears are the window and the door to your soul. What do you see with your eyes? What do you see with your eyes? God's goodness. God's glory. God's greatness. His blessings. His favor. Right? His peace. That's what you see. But really, what do you see? You live in a world that is filthy. What do you see in this world? What do you see? We're exposed to movies, TV shows, books, magazines, social media, you name it, that is filthy. Hello? There's pornography everywhere. It's now normal for a man to kiss a man on a television. Even commercials. Yes or no? It's becoming normalized. We are becoming desensitized to the way of the world. 
think about it, 10, 15 years ago, if you saw that, what would you have done? You turn off the TV. Yes or no? But now what do we do? Now you leave it on. Why? You're used to it. Does that make it right? Our soul is what? It's been transformed little by little to accept the filthiness of the world. What are you hearing? What kind of music do you listen to? Let me tell you, what you see with your eyes and what you hear with your ears have a spirit behind it. I hope we understand that. If you don't believe me, do something. Find a music that sounds very aggressive, very fast, and, very, and start driving. Before you know it, you discover that you are driving faster than you normally would. Now, tell me, did that music influence you? Yes or no? It surely did. Now, find a music that is very calm and very mellow. Music that your whole mood will be what? Very calm and very mellow. And you act like a normal human being. <laughs> Hallelujah. So there is a spirit behind all these things. Beloved, you must guard what you see. You must guard what you hear. They determine what you will think about. And what you think about is who you become. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist. I'm going to say it out loud. Resist. Resist. And it will flee from you. How do you resist? You can say no. Anybody here don't know how to say no? You don't know how to say no. Everything is yes. You can say no. Look at your neighbor. I can say no. Lift up your two hands up to heaven. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord make a way for you. In the name of Jesus. The hands you have lifted unto God shall never wither. The hands you have lifted unto God shall forever be blessed. In the name of Jesus. So go and be of a blessing. Because God has blessed you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare this week will be a week of favor. I declare this week will be a week of peace. I declare this week will be a week of greatness. I declare this week to be a week of testimony over you, over your family, over your household, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my Lord and my God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. God bless you. Have a wonderful week.